was formerly called Hell's Lane, probably because of its steepness. On the other side of the river, over to the right, is Whitby's lifeboat station. And if nobody is in trouble out at sea, you'll be able to see the orange lifeboat moored just beneath it. On the left, as we turn into the narrow Hackers Gate, look out for the large Georgian mansion built in 1817 for the Reynolds family. Like many of the houses around here, it was built on a sandbank supported by piles. It became the Mission to Seamen in 1877. Coming up on the left, behind the cafe, is Bakehouse Yard. This was home to Henry Freeman, the only survivor of the lifeboat disaster of February 1861. He survived because he was the only crew member wearing a cork life jacket. Pigger Road was originally built about 1875 over the sandy banks of the river. Prior to this time, the crag was the only way from the town to the shore. The new buildings to your left are in fact new frontages, built after that time onto the backs of the riverside buildings which originally faced onto the crag. Coming up on the left, the award-winning Quayside Restaurant was once a public bathhouse, museum and a library. In the late 1890s, it said Bram Stoker carried out research for his gothic novel, Dracula, in the First Law Library. Ahead on the left, the building with the large bay windows is the popular Magpie Cafe. Built in 1750 as a merchant. Where's the, where, where's the controls, isn't it? Ready, see if you can see the controls actually, so in the middle of the bridge. I'd offer if someone's swimming controls. They would die. Why do they get to do that? Is that it? 
Ha, ha, ha. 